most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having it. When a man is in his own life, he is usually doing his life in a way that makes sense to his plan. Most people plan their lives in the year to five year to ten year orientation, I would think. A person does not have to explain to people of origin family whether or not he is on his own plan or not. At no time do those people have any rights to claim any relationship with him anymore. You see, when we depart our parents' house in our 20s to college and to other places, we pretty much leave them in the lurch. We are supposed to go off to life in search of our own lives. And once we do that, we're expected to provide for ourselves, to pay for ourselves, to handle our own bills, to handle everything we need in life. The everything that you need in life may not be the same as the everything that I want, need, or desire in my life. What you desire for your life is your choice. Whether you choose to pursue the Lord through your faith, your family, your fitness, your finances, your fellowship, your philanthropy is up to you. Those are some of the areas of life balance that you should be thinking about for you. In this lifetime, we do not have the right to propose to other people is not true. But what we do deserve when we provide that proposal is a person coming back to us in person to speak about that opportunity for life partnership, you see. When people fail to recognize the truth of God, they often choose the wrong people. They often solicit in a wrong moment of time, and they might have a great time in that moment, but over the course of time, that sexual inappropriateness will start to reveal itself in such a way that it's obvious that there is no love there today. You see, love is something that is unconditional. Love is something that is based on the foundation of Christ, and any relationship not founded on the face and the base of Christ is destined to truly fail. Even those coming out of the inappropriate Christian cults often have failures in relationships. The failures in relationship is usually that one spouse holds a little bit more power over the other or there's passive aggressivity from one parent over another in a couplehood, in a family. But they often teach inappropriate concepts of God to their children. An inappropriate concept of God to a child is that you have the right to lord over someone else. An inappropriate concept of God is you have the right to steal and sell things underneath someone's house. An inappropriate concept of God is anything that violates the Ten Commandments with regard to adultery or other things. Sometimes quality relationships can come out of those liaisons because often, not always, they are provided by the Lord to escape difficult situations. At the same time, God will often have someone show up who doesn't seem so magnificent to you, who is supposed to be on your path and become your everything in this world. But when you don't honor the Lord, when you don't hear God, when you disparage yourself, when you dishonor yourself by interrupting people who are on their path to the Lord, you literally make a fool of yourself. My question from now on will always be, what is your everything? You see, what is your everything is what is revealed on your face. What is your everything is what will also be your disgrace. What is your everything usually is a person who provides you the partnership of your life so that you can get on in life. Whether it be a husband or whether it be a wife, it is usually your everything because at the tail end of your life, your children and your family will be gone and you will be left only with that everything and everything intact or everything obliterated by God. In this moment of time, we have the ability to talk is not true. We have the ability to squawk is absolute truth, but what are you squawking about today? Do you have everything in life that you're after, or are you still pissing around trying to fuck people off in a way that makes God so angry he's given you COVID and you don't even give way to that truth? In life, we have moments of time to prove who we are in the house of the Lord, and if you are soliciting people in the middle of the day without approaching them in any socially appropriate way, then you deserve by all means to go to God. You see, I can make these statements that may sound odd, but the truth is in my lifetime, a version of rap is sort of a concept 
of poetry and a concept of poetry knows how to be poetic. To be poetic is not to be pathetic. To be in love is one of the greatest gifts of God. And no matter what anyone says to me, I can say that I have loved more than anything else in this world. And what I say to people is, what is your everything? Because what is your everything is not a paltry thing. What is your everything is usually everything. And what is your everything doesn't belong to anyone but you. But what we have to understand is what is your everything does not always belong to you because your everything might choose someone else beside you in a foolish moment of time. Because the package looks better, because the ideas might be wetter, or because you have given yourself that opportunity. But when you solicit someone to remove their clothes so that you can have that relationship or that liaison to make you feel better about who's been screwing you out of your own life, maybe you better look to God. Thank uh-huh.